So the first qualitative characteristic we'll go through is relevance. And in general, information is relevant. Sometimes a more technical term that you'll run into is material. So information is relevant or it's material if it affects decision making. And to go a little bit more deeper in this concept of materiality, which is a bigger deal in auditing, but you'll probably see the term come up in this course as well. Information is material if the omission of it, so leaving it out, or the misstatement of it, making an error, would change your decision. So for example, let's say that uh, you're an investor and you're thinking about investing in a company that has $10 billion worth of revenue. And let's say that there is a misstatement of a $1 million transaction. And this company has $10 billion worth of revenue. So $1 million out of $10 billion is not too big of a deal. If there's a misstatement of that, or maybe even an omission of that, it's not gonna be too big of a deal for you. It's not as relevant, it's not as material, just because of the size of this company and how small this transaction is compared to the size of the company. But let's say instead that this company was making $10 million worth of revenue. Well, notice that 1 million is a large chunk of 10 million, that's 10%. So a transaction that is 10% of a company's revenue, that's a big deal. So misstating that or omitting that would be relevant then. It would change your decision making of whether you want to invest in this company or not, right? It doesn't have to just be an investor again, it could be even a creditor, right? So this company, if they um, omitted a $1 million expense, Right, a bank that's thinking about lending money to this company, that would be a big deal. They would want to see that expense because one million is a larger chunk of $10 million. It's material information. Right, so that's what materiality is. Um, and there's two sort of sub qualities under this quality of relevance that you'll see come up. Number one, the information should be predictive. What that means is that it helps in making future decisions or forecasts. And let's say that you're thinking about investing in a REIT, a real estate investment trust. And for those who don't know what REITs are, basically what they do is they take a bunch of investors, they take their money, pull it together, they buy real estate, they rent out the real estate, usually it's commercial real estate, they collect the rent payments, they take a cut for managing the property, and then they give you, the investor, the rest of the rent and they do it by proportion with how much money each investor has put in. So let's say that you want to invest in this REIT, and let's say that uh, today, let's call it time zero, they're going to buy some kind of building. Well, you're going to want to know they're buying this building, and then they're getting a bunch of tenants, they're going to rent it out to a bunch of different companies, you want to know who the tenants are going to be. You want to know the lease terms. And so you want to have information where you can predict what that revenue is going to be, how much rent they're going to receive. And you could see that in the lease agreements. So how much are the lease payments going to be every quarter, every month, every year? Um, who are the tenants? For how long 
are the least um, least terms going to be for? Information like that, that's going to help you make future decisions or future forecasts. It's predictive material. Now, the information also has to be confirmatory. And what this means is it's information that gives feedback about past decisions. So let's say we did invest in this REIT here in time zero. They bought this building and then uh, we made certain forecasts with the lease agreements they had, with the tenants they had, how much lease revenue we're going to receive, how much rental revenue we're going to receive, and for how long, et cetera, et cetera. Well, let's say time goes by now and let's say we're five years into after we invested. Well, at this point here, we should be able to take the information and look back at what actually happened. So what did happen? Were all the tenants the same? Was there a default? Did the tenants change? Did the lease payments change? If the tenants change, did the lease agreements change? Right? Did the value of the property go up? We should be able to look back at our initial future forecasts and get feedback on how good those forecasts were. Did we make the right decisions? Did we make the right, uh, correct forecasts, et cetera, et cetera. Right? So two sort of sub-qualities that information should have to be relevant. Information should be predictive help in making future decisions forecasts, and it should be confirmatory, give feedback about past decisions.